Hey folks, welcome to Advent of Code in F Sharp, a series where we'll be solving the Advent of Code programming puzzles uh, using the programming language uh, F Sharp. Uh, if you don't know about the, the challenges, I suggest uh, you read up on the website adventofcode.com because we will be going straight at it. Uh, we'll be diving into uh, the first puzzle of the month which is calorie counting. Um, Santa's reindeer typically eat regular reindeer food, but they need a lot of magical energy to deliver presents on Christmas. For that, their favorite snack is a special type of star fruit that only grows deep in the jungle. The elves have brought you on their annual expedition to the grove where the fruit grows. That's a fun little story. I'm liking the, <laughs> the star fruit. To supply enough magical energy, the expedition needs to retrieve a minimum of 50 stars by December 25th. All right, we collect stars by solving puzzles. That has not changed. Every day contains two puzzles, two opportunities to earn a star. Sure. The jungle must be too overgrown and difficult to navigate in vehicles or access from the air. The elves expedition traditionally goes on foot. As our boat approaches land, the elves begin talking taking inventory of their supplies. One important consideration is food, in particular the number of calories each elf is carrying. So our puzzle input is the number of calories each elf is carrying. Cool. The elves take turns writing down the number of calories contained by the various meals. Snacks, rations, blah, 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 that they've brought with them one item per line. Each elf separates their own inventory from the previous elf's inventory by a blank line. Okay, for example, suppose the elves finish writing their items' calories and end up with the following lists. So we get a list of numbers and some white lines in between. This example represents the calories of the food carried by five elves. Yes, because there's one, two, three, four, five groups of numbers separated by a new line, sure, or separated by an empty line. First elf is carrying food, one, two, three, thousand. And we have totals per elf, sure. Okay, that makes sense. Sure. In case the elves get hungry and need extra snacks, they need to know which elf to ask. They'd like to know how many calories are being carried by the elf carrying the most calories. Okay, so we have a list of calories for a couple of elves, for a lot of elves. This looks like a. I'm not, not in, I'm, in my head. I'm comparing like this year's first puzzle with other years. It sounds marginally more complex, but not that much. But we have to just like empty lines. I think that's harder than last year's day one. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out as we go along. I'm using a F sharp. Uh, interactive it's a read evaluate print loop a REPL so I don't have to compile or mess about with uh, project files stuff like that I can just write my script write my code uh, and send it to the execution environment and get my results uh, so that works a bit nicer um, reading in all the lines and the empty lines are like just empty strings here so I'm just going to split all the lines per elf yeah, let's split all the lines per elf. That's the first little step we can do. I'm not going to work on my input. I'm going to work on the example. And I read somewhere on the Advent of Code site that if you click three times <laughs> on an example or on a code fragment, you should be able to... Ooh, yeah, it selects everything. You should be able to copy it. I'm using, like, the .NET... The recent .NET version that came out. What is it? 7? Yeah. It has string literals, so it's like three double quotes, and you can uh, enter whatever you want in there. No escaping necessary. You can paste literal JSON, literal HTML, whatever you want. So that's a bit nicer than uh, before. So yeah, there we go. That's the example input. And we have these empty strings as the limiter between the elves. So how will we... Hmm split uh, the input array into uh, sub, sub arrays for each elf. Let's think about this. 
It's been a very long day already, so my brain is fried. Might not be the smartest time <laughs> to program anymore, but it's day one. We should be able to knock this one out. I'm just gonna... What are we gonna do? Take while? Yeah, let's take while. So I'm just gonna say take while we don't encounter the empty string. So that should be the first elves. Yeah, that works. Uh, can we do this like in a one-liner? Let's not worry about that. So it's like... Uh, calories for elf is just the first chunk. Hmm. How, how do I drop to the next part? Like, skip while? Yeah, sure. And skip an extra one. This does not feel like the best way to do it, actually. <laughs> and just do this recursively, and that should work. So if we say, I'm writing a function here, split per elf, given the lines. So we operate on the lines and we just do calories for elf and split per elf and rest. And the only thing I'm thinking is that skip one will fail in the end. So split per elf example. Yeah, so that's crashing because we are skipping past the end. I'm going to be very... <laughs> very dirty here and just append uh, an empty string on the end. Uh, does that not work? Oh no, it has to be an array. Cool. No? Is that not how you... Concatenate two. How do you concatenate two lists? Is this not how you concatenate two lists? It is. What am I doing wrong? That's a list of strings. No, sorry, array of strings. This is an array of strings. So why is this concat not an array of strings? Oh, because they are. It's a. It's a list operator, not an array operator. Why is that? What is, what's the type of example? That's an array. I did not know that the, the at sign was a list only operator. Let's, let's look that up. Stack overflow. <laughs> is that the best we can do? Sure. There we go. Let's list, list, list. Where's the official... Where's the official docs for this? Concat. Let's look for the at sign. Yeah. Looks like... Append. Okay. Never mind then. Let's use array.append. Or... Yeah, that's the simplest one. And that takes two arrays, so that'll work. That'll work just fine. So now we just append the empty string. Yeah, sure. And if we split this, it still blows up. Interesting. Why is it blowing up? Let's print out what we're doing here. So what are we doing? Nothing interesting. Let's try that again. There we go. <clears throat> so we have our first list, sure. And then we nibble up the first else part. Yep. Oh, empty. 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 
Okay, so if lines Hmm. What? <laughs> what? It's not. Ha let me have it. Okay, so it's a list. I should get rid of the array syntax. Oh no, I am not ready to solve that kind of code puzzles. So yeah, after a lot of... <laughs> this should have been a one-liner. <laughs> Uh, after a lot of uh, work, we actually got our splitting, and that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's correct. So that's the grouping our input for each elf individually. Cool. So that's the elf calories. I have like an auto formatter in installed, and when I hit save, sometimes it not only formats, but inserts duplicate lines. That's not really cool. Why is there a blue squiggly here? Okay, that's a hit diff thing. Let's ignore that. Cool. We have split our calorie list into sublists for each or arrays for each elf. Let's now start Parsing. I am thinking, should we have parsed before? No, because we needed to break on the empty line. So let's do the parsing now. So for every group, so for every list of uh, calories for an elf, so that's uh, array.map parse calories. We need to parse calories and let's write that function. And again, that's looping over everything and doing a... How do you convert a string to an int? Is it just this? So let's call Kyle's uh, string array. Let's provide an explicit type here. Yeah, that should work. Let's see if it works. Parse calories for whatever. One and two. That should give me integers one and two. Yes, that's working. So why is it not working for <laughs> our elves? It's a list of an array, of course. Because append. You know what? I don't know why I started out with arrays when everything in... Uh, F-sharp prefers lists. That's, that's maybe not true, but uh, let's work with lists. Let's work with lists. I uh, forget about the array keyword for now, or the array module. That's less lines anyway. There we go. Everything is just fine. <laughs> And let's see if we can parse the calories. We can parse the calories now. So there we go. We have the actual integer values for our calorie lists. Let's call that parsed. So now we know for every elf what the calories are, individual calories. So now we need to sum them, right? Let's go back to the uh, description, the problem description. So they would like to know how many calories are being carried by the elf carrying the most calories. In the example above, that's 24,000 for the fourth elf. One, two, three, four. So the sum of this should be 24. Yeah, that checks out. So we just need to sum. Let sums is parsed. So for every elf, do a sum. No? What? An int list does not support. Oh yeah, we need to map. So for every elf, we need to map the sum over it. There we go. Yeah, so those are the one, two, three, four, five sums. And then we need the maximum value. Yeah. 
There we go, that's 24,000. So that is uh, how we solve the example. Now let's solve it for our input. So instead of example, or let's write a function solve. Let solve the lines equals deck 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 this thing returns sum all the sums and instead of working on a example here let's work on the lines let's call this lines multiple so we split our lines per elf and we do some empty string appending oh that's <laughs> pretty dirty but okay is there a list dot split at no, split into, no, never mind. It works, I'm not gonna think too much about it. The day has been long enough already. So solve example should give us 24,000 and solve input is what we are actually looking for. Let me full screen Visual Studio real quick. There we go. Oh yeah, my input also needs to be a uh, list. There we go. And if we solve for input now, we should get a big ish number. Trust the process and let's see if this is the correct answer. It is. That took uh, a bit more time than I was expecting, but we fi finished nonetheless. So let's go for part two here. Let me quickly make a new file. There we go. So this should still work and let's work on part two. Where did... Where did my solve go? Okay, there it is. There's my solve again. Okay, what is part two asking us to do? By the time we calculate the answer to the elf's question, they've already realized that the elf carrying the most calories of food might essentially run out of snacks. To avoid this, the elves would instead like to know the total calories carried by the top three elves. So instead of just giving us the highest sum, we need to get the three highest sums and sum those three. That is a that is a pretty basic thing. So instead of getting just the sum, these are all the sums. Let's sort these sums. Let's sort these in descending order. Let's take the first three and let's sum those. What is... Oh yeah, so we get all the sums. This sums variable was incorrectly called sums. It's a single sum, so let's call this max sum in part one in order to not confuse future me. And these are all the sums now. There did my formatter went again. It's a great formatter, but it sometimes does weird stuff. <laughs> I have not figured out what's causing it. But anyway, um, so we get all the sums, sort them, take the first, the, the top three, and sum those. That should work. Let's see it work for the example. 45,000, yeah. So our input should give us something else. It gives us something slightly bigger. Whew. <laughs> Note to self, do not solve advent of code puzzles when angry or tired. Uh, but yeah, this was a warm up. It was more than a warm up for my tired brain, but we got there in the end, which is great. So off to a good start. I hope uh, that tomorrow goes uh, smoother uh, because let's quickly recap uh, the current solution here. Uh, what do I like? Uh, everything except the split per health thing. <laughs> there has to be a cleaner way to uh, split. Oh, actually, if we just take the entire input as a single string and not as a uh, not as a list of lines this would have been way easier 
is actually what we're doing here. Yeah, that would have worked. Then we could have chunked the string into the, the different parts and uh, went with that. So yeah, that would have been uh, easier actually. But this was pretty fun, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I'm internally debating where I'm really going to leave it like that. Yes, uh, the following puzzles will be harder and harder and way harder. So let's not waste our energy on uh, cleaning this up. Let's, uh, we're in it for the long run, not for a, a week of fun. So I will see you tomorrow for day two. Bye-bye.